Smoking piles of debris, once shelter for displaced civilians, many of them women and children, in the southern Gaza city of Rafah. It's the aftermath of an Israeli strike Sunday, the military says, was aimed at a Hamas compound, killing two of its leaders. Meanwhile, in Tel Aviv, Israeli air defenses intercepted at least half a dozen rockets, the first aimed at the area in four months. The Israeli military says no one was injured in this attack claimed by Hamas. The latest violence potentially jeopardizing or at least further complicating the resumption of ceasefire talks expected Tuesday in Cairo. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu under pressure to accept a deal and prioritize hostages over military action, facing protests like these in Tel Aviv. I don't say this is more important than that is more important. I say both of them are important. Without military pressure, basically without, you know, squeezing them, uh, Hamas is not going to give up anything. Across the world, President Biden also under immense political pressure, both by critics who say he's turning his back on Israel with remarks like this. It's a humanitarian crisis in Gaza. That's why I've called for an immediate ceasefire. And those who say he shares responsibility for the carnage in Gaza by providing Israel military aid, like progressive Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib of Michigan. Attacking the authority of the International Criminal Court and interfering in the legal process is nothing more, nothing more than an attempt to prevent the genocidal maniac Netanyahu and his senior Israeli officials from being held accountable for those crimes against humanity. You are an enabler, President Biden. Looking ahead to the Democratic National Convention in Chicago later this summer, there's at least three dozen delegates representing those uncommitted primary ballots cast by those upset with the president's support for Israel. Though small in size, leaders of the group say they hope to take full advantage of being in the national spotlight. On Capitol Hill, I'm Atrel Nishar.